Hello everybody, welcome back to the Coffee Empire. Today we did a little bit of testing before recording and if we leave seasonal growth on, which I'm leaning to do on this playthrough, the soybeans are just gonna have to wait until if we look at the calendar here, we're probably gonna have to wait till December to harvest them, which is good, but that means we don't have much to do because our property it's pretty much maxed out. Let's look at contracts. We'll get through this phase and we'll have a lot more to do on our own farm. But until then, we gotta do these contracts. And let's look at some land around here. What are the values that we could buy? 160, they're pretty pricey. Wow. Okay, so that's this is gonna be a grind. How about any small fields if we like drive around a lot? They're expensive. 57,000 is one we could keep an eye on there. Oh boy. And even if we targeted things that are like ready for harvest, what are in those fields? Carrots, black beans. Oh, that'd be interesting. And in 66, it's not close, but this one's ready to harvest, but it's, it's, we can't afford it. Okay. Two million dollars for that? That's interesting. All right, so contract-wise, we could learn a little bit about red beets. Never done it before. We might regret this, but that's what we're gonna do today. Yeah, and I hope this uh, style of playthrough is gonna be okay for you guys. Uh, I needed it, and we've, we've kind of talked about that, is just a let's play where there's no real, you know, requirement to go fast or not any role playing going on we're just playing the game and we might because of this new discovery we might just take out a few loans to get some more land and potentially speed up our progress or we'll just go through a lot of months per episode i think that's where i'm leaning a lot of months per episode no loans so it looks like this is going to be a nice long drive to get there and back i am tempted to see about setting up this on a worker and they gave us both of these i assume we're going to have to unload these multiple times because this is a good paying contract here See if we can get this backed up right. Nice, we did it. Okay, let's get to the road, and then we will mark close to the field, and this will just save us a little bit of time if this works. Uh, create job, go to right in front of the field, and it is working. Okay, so now we can just keep cruising, and we'll get a notification if that doesn't work, but they should catch up to us pretty quickly. Blocked by object. Let's see if we can help them real quick. Can you get unblocked now? I don't know where you're trying to go. But you're not blocked by anything. Anymore. They might just be wasting our money at this point. Oh, they're moving now. Okay. I think. Yep, there they are. They caught us. And they're just going to run right into us. That's hilarious. Are they going to push us any faster? Nope. All right, we'll get out of the way here and let him go. No respect. Just running into the boss. Nice. And I believe, is that the field right there, or we still got to go? They did pull over. They're going to block traffic a little bit, but we'll get them out of the way here pretty quickly. Let's unfold this thing, and we're going to learn real quick quickly how this works how are we gonna do this one we'll see how much this holds but this might be one where we need a worker to help us and we'll get this out of the way for now and let's see about opening these never you never done this crop before this will be interesting so we're going to even though yeah that's that's gonna be tough let's go ahead and enable gps we do want to have this help us out. And we'll see. Yeah, that's got to change to there. Let's back up a little bit. Straighten out. And just get it over just a hair, about right here. And we'll go home. 
Lock that in. That should do it. Now I imagine we lower, turn on, and drive forward. But I don't have any indicator of capacity. Are those just gonna fall on the ground? Okay, that's interesting. So do we have to drive on the crop? They did just fall on the ground, didn't they? What kind of mess is this gonna be? I don't see them on the ground. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Let's disable that. We'll go ahead and add a worker. Whoops, back here. Um, worker? Um. Can we not do this by ourselves? Like, why? Okay. If we can't enable a worker and we can't harvest this with by ourselves, well, that was kind of fun. Well, we're going to cancel that. And we lost $540, apparently. Okay, so instead of that, we will be doing some of these smaller dollar ones. Yep, not going to do the carrots either. 3200 here. Some canola. Absolutely. Well, it was almost fun. This fancy beast. Field 48, here we come. I could have played around with that a little bit more, but I was already dreading the idea of how long that harvest was going to take. I know. Probably should put the header on this, too. Or the header trailer. Probably gonna regret that. We had to avoid a good amount of cars there and a couple street signs that were not breaking. So we'll head on over down this road here and we should be right by our field we're harvesting next. Yeah, right this direction. And we'll get going, we'll do some headlands and then we'll get the grain cart over here when we need it. But after that fun fiasco with trying to do the root crop by ourselves, well, let's get rolling. You know, just thinking a little bit in the middle of this harvest, we're gonna adjust something here because of seasonal growth and how expensive the plots of land are, we are gonna adjust the economy to easy. Just in time, we can see our workers bring in the grain cart over there, and we're just about to fill up. Perfect timing. Go ahead and stop when we hit 100 and get the cart over here. About halfway done with this harvest, maybe a little more. Should be full just a little bit farther. There we go. Zoom out just a hair there. I love doing these contracts because we get to use equipment that we will never use, we'll never purchase. And this playthrough is going to be a little different. I think we are going to use a lot of different equipment than we usually do on this channel, as we're already doing with our equipment at home already. So get that unloaded and then we can continue on with the harvest.
And we're all finished with this harvest. Let's just drop this off at the grain cart, find the location to sell it, and see what our profit was. You know, not the way I intended this series to, to go, but we're gonna bust through some contracts and really think that's the best to get us to progress here. Let's see, is there another one worth grabbing? 7,000's also sugar beets. We don't really want to do that. So we'll grab this $4,000 one. We'll go ahead and borrow the items, get that all prepped. We'll head on in to get the canola here sold. Find this location. Um, we are here. Yep, got to go pretty much across the map. Really loving the change of pace here and the scenery. Really nice. And finally arriving at the location to sell this for the contract here. Be interesting to see what the economy change does to the money we bring in here. Go ahead and get that sold. 83% done and start going up, start going up, start going up. There we go. Ah, $2,600, so not a huge difference, but let's go ahead and hop in here. This completed one will collect our extra cash there. Now we're sitting at $36,000. Looks like this time we get a new Holland harvester here. That attached, I believe this field is pretty close. We won't use the header trailer on this either. So I believe we're gonna take this road here. Yep, right back to the field. Proximity is pretty nice for this one. And I didn't catch what we're harvesting. Maybe, is it soybeans? What do we got in this field? Let's take a look before we start here. This unfolded though. It's black bean, all right. This is a unique uh, crop type, I believe, to this, uh, this map. Go ahead and get this going. And since it's so close, we'll just drive over the green card ourselves when the time comes. A little bit larger field than what we just did, but this seems to be a low yield crop. I'm not sure actually. Similar to soybeans, I would imagine. I think we're gonna coast through this episode with contracts, wait for some comments from the community about loans and maybe maxing out at a certain amount. Uh, I really wanna do the grind though and contracts is gonna be the way for a while, but I don't know what you guys wanna see, let me know. All right, we got a full hopper here. Let's go ahead and get the, what do we got, a claws here? Nice. Yep, a lot of different equipment we're gonna see in this playthrough. Back up here, connect to this bad boy, and just head across the street, really? Opened up though. And a good goal, I guess, at this point is to end the month at $40,000. I'm thinking, so just to throw some ideas out there for the comments, do we install the advanced loan system? And then that's gonna determine or allow us to borrow money based on like how much money we, we've made. It has like a nice dynamic system to where we wouldn't be able to take like a million dollar loan to begin with. We'd have to work our way up to that, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards doing, I think is a, a fun way to do it. If we are gonna take out loans, make it a little more realistic than just taking 500,000 out right away. And then we can be wise with how we spend it. And that might help us progress to get to the coffee empire of this playthrough. Yeah, suggestions, completely welcome. And we'll continue on with this harvest and we'll see if we're gonna fill this cart up. I'm not sure. Good amount still behind us to harvest. And we got, I think I got a nice path that we're working on that's gonna cut it out pretty, pretty well there. Not completely straight passes, but it mixes it up and I enjoy that. And no GPS, we get to do all the driving ourselves.
just about done here, and I think we'll take this opportunity to unload. Uh, let's get this little bit up here. I didn't even realize we missed. Just a little scratch that we missed. There we go, about you know 12 liters there. We'll go ahead and raise this so we can drive faster. And shut that off for now. Get this unloaded. I don't think the rest would have fit in the hopper, so I think it is wise while we're up here to go ahead and unload. And then we'll take a little glance there of what's left. Hopefully it all fits in this trailer. It is close proximity, like we mentioned, but it'd be nice to just make one trip to sell everything. Looking good to fit this load at least. All right, let's get back to the harvest. Just for maximizing our profit of money we're gonna take home, we are gonna clean up these little spots that we missed. Oh, we missed another one. We'll have to loop back around anyways. One liter there. Was it worth it? I don't know. Let's see if this is even gonna be a liter. Nope. And no. All right, let's go ahead and top off the green card here and get our profits for April going. Well, let's see if it's all, it all does fit barely. All right, pretty fun little contract there. Go ahead and get this sold. And hopefully we're well above that 40,000 mark that we're somewhat aiming for now. But where are we going? Okay, could have gone the other way. That's okay. All right, we've arrived. Let's drop off these black beans and see how this contract treated us. There we go. All right, let's see some numbers here. Night 84%. And give us some cash. There we go. And we're above 40,000 now with that. And we'll go in here, grab our completed contract, and head home. $44,000. Unbelievable. All right, let's see just in case. I don't think there's anything we really want to grab today. Yeah, let's go ahead and make it May. What does this one do? Oh, that's the wardrobe, okay. All right, let's take a look at our fields here. Oh, did we forget to shut off seasonal growth? We did. All right, so we'll shut it off now, but I think that was okay. Did we lose? I don't know, we can't see it now. But we come over here and look at our fields. We scroll over and find that. We can see the soybeans have kind of stabilized, or they stopped growing because we had seasonal growth on, but we are close to being able to harvest our wheat, which will be real nice. Okay, let's take a look at, let's look at used equipment too. All right, nothing really there for us. Contract wise, 60,000, see, I wish this would work. I'd love to do a $60,000 contract, but the big contracts are just those. Let's see, ooh, plowing with that. Do we, do we hate ourselves to do plowing? Field 23, yeah, I don't know about that. Contracts here. I think we might skip to field 48. Let's look at field 48 first. I think we just harvested that, right? <clears throat> Did we work on field 48 or is that the one we decided not to work on? That's 47 is a big boy. Uh, 48 is right there. Yeah, I think we did harvest that. Um, What cultivator is that? It's not terrible. Let's go ahead and do that. Whoa, the tractor jumped when we connected that. Makes me a little nervous about if this tractor can handle this implement. Oh, come on. Stuck on this van. Just go, van. Go, go, buddy. Yeah, these 32 mile an hour tractors they're pretty sweet to drive not as good as the fast track but pretty sweet so the harvest we're not using speed override but i am going to use speed override for this just to make it a little more enjoyable again doing a let's play the way i want to play the game uh with some you know obviously advice that i've been asking for certain things but these are the things where we're just going to do what we want to do and speed override is definitely what i want to do when it comes to cultivating not a crazy amount. I like to go with what the game is recommending. So we'll go ahead and open this up and we hit Alt zero and it says 15. So we're gonna set it at 14, usually is what works. And we'll see if this tractor can even get up to that speed, which it probably can. 
And that feels good to me. So it's going to cruise at about 13, it looks like. Oh, there's up to 14. And these ones we will not be perfectionists with. We will go ahead and keep rolling until it says the contract's complete. And then we will just uh, finish the contract at that point. And we're already 10% done. This one won't take time at all. And that contract is complete. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's head home. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to skip time. I think that would be the most fun way to do this series and just take care of our own fields. Do some contracts here or there for extra cash when there's some good ones. But besides that, I think, I think we just play on our own fields. So we do know we shut off seasonal growth because of some of the issues with the soybeans and we're gonna great demand at storage. Okay, let's go over here. It looks like it is not ready. What is, what are my eyes conceive, deceiving me here? Okay, that was one more shade of green to get to and this one's starting to catch up. Let's go ahead and take a peek at contracts and just see if there's anything interesting. Sewing wouldn't be bad. Yeah, we'll think about that. And it went away, so we will not be doing that. Oh, this is the one we we're thinking about. It, and now it's gone. Jeez, those move fast. Well, since we missed out on that, let's just make it July and we'll get into our harvest. All right, it's officially July on our playthrough here. And it looks like we do have some ready crops. And let's see, does that mean August we're going to... No, it'll probably be September when we get to do the soybeans. So for the first time, let's get our beautiful, beautiful, expensive harvester out. Our top liner. And boy, I feel like I was just using this not too long ago on a different playthrough. Get it all unfolded and prepped here. Get to use our grain cart. What I didn't notice is we don't have a silo. That's going to be interesting. Can I imagine prices for wheat? Is that what we have in here? Yeah, let's see. Prices for wheat right now. They are pretty good, actually. Okay, we'll be selling right away today. Get it lowered here. Here we go. Our first official harvest on this playthrough. And we don't have a baler, but we might need to solve that as well. I wonder if leasing would make sense to be able to sell the straw and make a profit. We could do an experiment with that today. Boy, do these crops look good on this map. All right, let's 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 bust this out. Exciting times. twice around the headland and we did not fill up all the way so i think what we'll do is one more pass going north and south here and we'll start doing our ups and downs but we will get to the end of the field and get the grain cart out here to unload us man like i said this is this crop looks gorgeous and you know what we're gonna gamble we're gonna go all the way back 10 percent capacity i don't think it's filling up that much so we'll see We'll just have to back out and turn around if uh, if we do fill up on this pass. And seems like the yield's a little better in the middle, so we're, we're definitely not going to make it all the way back. 97%. Yeah, well, gamble did not pay off there, but no real loss. Just loop around like this. And we should be able to just tab here. Oh, we get to use this for the first time. Oh, look at the maintenance on this thing. Oh, that's hilarious. Something else we got to take care of. It's going to be a grind, but I think if we do move faster by just skipping somewhere we have work to do, it'll it'll go by quick and we'll get to the point where we are starting to move faster on this playthrough. But it looks like we will get the rest of this crop in one more hopper full of the combine and then we'll head to town and get it sold. Find the location that does have the highest price, but we might 
You'd only be able to fit one hopper in here. Yeah, okay, something to keep in mind. What we're gonna do is hand this over to a worker and then we're gonna head into town and get that sold. And we'll have to finish what they miss because yep, they're gonna miss that spot right there. All right, so let's find the sales location. And they're all about the same. So let's see, one, two, or three. Which one's the closest? Sawmill number three. That's where we're going. So this should be about $12,000 here. Already better than our contracts were. Oh man, is there a contract to harvest this one? Might be able to just do that with our own equipment. We might take a look at that. All right, and we have arrived now. And it looks like it's just to the left here where we sell. Pull on up, and no, that's interesting. Oh, we didn't have it selected, that's why. That's why, there we go. Start selling those. It didn't say selling, it said overloading. Interesting. Oh, but it is selling, okay. Look at that money go up. It's about time. Yep. Just about 10,000, not bad for our first uh, little bit of our first harvest. I think this route might be better on the road than that back route because it had a huge hill to climb. It's like we can cut across right here to get to that road, that dirt road, and head back to the property and see how our worker is handling the rest of the harvest. And just a little bit to do, so after this we will take over for them. There we go. Oh, oh, a little early, a little early. There we go, get that little bit there. Every little bit's important. And adjust that view just a hair there for you guys. And we'll get this cleaned up and then that bottom as well. $5,000 about in here right now. Should put us above 60,000. And I'm not sure all the expenses we'll have to replant this, but it'd be nice to it still be around 55,000 when we're done. And then the soybean harvest, such a small field. All right, let's get this all dumped out here and get it sold. We'll put the harvester away before we do that, but just about another five grand, I'm guessing. And then I wanted to kind of look at this and see, we do have, we own that pond and all the land back here. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get into cutting trees down, but it would be nice to get those trees out of the way to extend this field to be bigger. Something to think about. And it seems to be a good spot for it. So we'll go ahead and lower that and detach and head on back into town. Well, let's see how you guys like Coffee Empire right now as I'm recording this. The first episode just released. Gonna be a fun day. All right, we're at the cell location. The arrow tells us to come in this direction, so we will do that. <clears throat> Probably should go on the scale, do all that stuff, but it's fine. All right, let's see what our number is to end the day. Almost six grand. We're at $62,000. So let's head back home. We're not done with July, but we are done with this episode. Got a good amount done, a good, a good amount of time passed there. I am going to take a peek peek at these contracts. Actually, let's pull over and do that real quick because we're going to secure that for next episode if it is there. Harvesting and what field number was that that I saw? Because I really am interested in... Oh, it's probably not going to show up. Oh, that's my field. 61. Okay. 61's not on here, but we do have corn harvest. And those are the, yep, yeah, root crops. No one wants to harvest those for those people. They don't even want to harvest them themselves. So I think might be good to grab one of these to start next episode let's see where 16 is over here and then the other one was 71 which is right there let's go ahead and do 71 we will borrow the items so let's get home and we will you know get some rest in but you know we will be doing more in july next episode um yeah just running pretty long on this recording at this point so we're gonna have to call it there hope you're enjoying the coffee empire so far i think we made some decisions but still looking forward to that feedback on what we should do time wise on this series on how quickly we move and i think you know balancing a little bit of contracts maybe we'll work on getting to that achievement of I think it's 50 contracts in one playthrough and then go from there on progress on the farm 
Do the statistics show that? Contracts completed. Where is that at? Missions. Five total. So we're about 10% there. We only need 45 more to go. But yeah, I'll stop rambling at this point, and I'll catch you on the next episode.